Harry does so well. Harry and I've had uh, these very intensely long conversations about scent uh, because it does impact you. It creates a mood. How many of you who are gardeners love the smell of the dirt as much as you love the smell of what grows from it? Harry understands that. He understands that this is an emotional response. So when he puts together a candle set that is referred to as strawberry patch, it's not just, it's not going to be like opening a pack of strawberry Skittles. Uh, I loved Emily's con <laughs> comment about sunscreen that made me laugh because I, I, and Emily and I are really kind of working together. This is our first hour together. I feel like I met a soulmate. You, you seem to understand what it is that I'm trying to convey, and I understand you very well. The, the strawberry patch is more than just the smell of the strawberry. And Harry captured that so perfectly. If you're someone who is done with winter, uh, fed up with it, ready for spring, ready for summer, here's a way of bringing those emotions on by simply burning candles in our home. So every beginning of summer, when it becomes strawberry season, I take my son and my daughter to go and pick strawberries. And everyone that knows me knows that I'm a fairly emotional mom. Like I don't have to think long about my children before my eyes get a little watery. Uh -huh. I just get very overwhelmed with the moments that we get to have together. And we all look so forward to going to the strawberry patch. And this is named very cleverly. This is not a strawberry candle. Like you said, this is not just strawberry. This yeah. is strawberry patch. And the thing that I love about going to the strawberry patch is at some point, we always go in the morning before it gets crowded. So it's usually just me, my kids, my husband, maybe my parents have come along. There's always at least one moment where I stop and I'm just listening to my kids giggle. I look over and see some strawberry juice drip, dripping down my son's chin. And I just take in the moment. And I'm so grateful for that moment and for the beautiful weather, for the nature, for my children, for all the things. And this candle takes me exactly to that moment of gratitude every time in the strawberry patch because it has the notes of strawberry and raspberry and blackberry. There's magnolia blossom. There's vanilla yeah. sugar because there's never just a strawberry patch, right? The farm we go to right next to the strawberry patch is the blackberry berry vines. And right next to that is the raspberry vines. And it's literally underneath these big, beautiful southern magnolia, magnolia trees. When I tell you the first time I smelled this candle, I was almost spooked out because I thought, Harry has been spying on me. To the same He's place. literally yeah, yeah. living my yeah. life in the strawberry patch <laughs> because it is exactly like my moment in a real strawberry patch. Yeah, Harry, Harry again when he's creating a candle, he's not trying to create just a particular scent. He's actually trying to create a mental destination for us. Uh, he always says he, he's telling a story through fragrance and he does it remarkably well. You know, anybody who has grown strawberries and, and gets passionate about it, you know, a strawberry that's fully ripened and fully sweet has a completely different smell to it than, than the, the little white flower that the strawberry comes from. Or when that strawberry is still a, a toddler and not fully developed. And he's captured all of that in there. Now, by the way, I'm just gonna kind of plunk it back here in the back. This, this pedestal is also available. We're gonna get to that in a little bit, but I love to be able to give Harry's candle center stage. And lighting one and allowing it to burn fills an entire home with this fragrance. He has the most subtle hint, subtle hint of vanilla in this candle. And I had a chance to talk to him about this. I play a game with his candles where you light it and you try to breathe it and you try to discern which one of the notes there are. Because it's like a really good scotch or a cognac. It's, you'll get a flavor that you taste first, but it's the ones that come next that are the notes where you go, oh, that's good. The vanilla he uses in this candle comes all the way from Madagascar. That blows me away, Emily. 
And that's really why these fragrances are so incredibly deep and rich and realistic is because there are no corners being cut with the entire process that Homeworks and Harry and his team go to. They are literally going to the edges of the earth to get the highest quality natural yeah. ingredients that then they're taking the essential oil from those. And I mean, when I smell this strawberry patch handle, I can hear the pop of picking those perfectly ripe strawberries 